Conigital is a Midlands-based organisation that sprung into life mid-2015 and almost immediately had a focus on developing intelligent mobility systems for the connected autonomous vehicle industry. Importantly, these systems have a focus on passenger interaction and their experiences. In particular, the aim was to ensure that it was an inclusive piece of technology that catered for the elderly and visually impaired communities so that those communities did not feel left out. So for example, we're developing haptic and tactile devices that have accessibility functionality and AI concierge service to make it easier for passengers to engage with a connected autonomous vehicle, providing them with real-time journey information and local amenities information, as well as developing an environmental sensor to help detect the environmental impact of a vehicle on a proposed route. Conigital is currently working on the Heathrow pod alongside its InSight partners to convert it into a truly autonomous vehicle applicable for short journeys at shopping centres, business parks and airports. Enterprise Europe Network was involved in the early stages of the company and helped Conigital land its first keynote speech at Innovate UK's 2015 event in London. Shortly after, Conigital secured its first Innovate UK bid. EEN went on to help Conigital form key relationships in the cab market, which are still in existence today and are part of our ecosystem. These include Westfield Sports Car, Transport Catapult and Transport for West Midlands, all of which have helped propel Conigital status in the connected autonomous vehicle market. Conigital has now taken on nine full or part-time staff members to help deliver its product line and we're hopeful of further Innovate UK wins to help continue on developing our investment in people and skills. As a company, I believe Conigital are an organisation to watch. Everyone involved in the company have huge belief that we will be firmly cemented in the connected autonomous vehicle market space and be in a position to help shape it, particularly given that the government has recently announced a further £270 million investment during its recent spring budget. It would be great for the company, great for the industry and great for the region.